Hey, Daniel Hall here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to cover exactly how to do book trailers for your video book marketing and do it without you ever having to be on camera. Go ahead and throw a like right now so you don't have to worry about doing it later. And of course, hit the little subscribe button and the bell notification as well. Let's jump in right now. There are a couple of different things that I wanted to cover in this video vis-a-vis -vis your book trailer. First off, I want you to think about this. How many times have you made the decision, and I do this all the time, by the way, you go to a movie, you're sitting watching the coming attractions, all the trailers, and you watch one trailer after the other, and, and this happens to me almost every time I go to the movies, is I'll go with my wife or my son, or we'll, we'll be there as a family, and we'll, we'll watch a trailer, we'll look over, we'll go, yes, no, yes, no. Based on what we're seeing on a, on a trailer, whether we're going to see that movie or, or not. And that is the power of a trailer. What I want you to understand is, is that you have the power to do that same thing with your book. In other words, cause people to want to read your book by and through a book trailer. And by the way, this book trailer does not and probably should not be very long, 30 to maybe 90 seconds at the max. There is a really simple formula for putting together a book trailer. First thing I will just tell you is that you don't have to put together the trailer yourself you can actually go over to fiverr.com and type in book trailers and you'll get all kinds of gigs that you could then check out and you could look at their work. They have portfolios of their work. You'll notice some of the folks that will pop up, they seem to specialize in certain types of books. Some will be mystery kinds of trailers mostly, some will be nonfiction, uh, some will, will be uh, memoirs, and you'll see kind of by their body of work, what they do best. So keep in mind that you can, for a very, very minimal fee, find some really great people on Fiverr to do your book trailer for you. Now I wanna turn the corner here and talk about you doing the, your book trailer yourself. Because you can, and you can do it pretty much for free, except of course the time that it's going to take to do that. And the tool that I love and recommend to you is one called Adobe Spark. If you know anything about Adobe software, you know that it is the best in the world. I mean, it is, it is premium software. And the great thing about Adobe Spark is it allows you to do and use Adobe Spark for free. Now there is a paid version as well, but you could do everything I'm about to explain here for free. The real big challenge with doing a video trailer yourself is uh, syncing up what is on the screen, because this is essentially screen capture or an animated type of moving picture, but syncing that moving picture up with a voiceover. The reason why I love Adobe Spark so much is not only can you use a really cool, and there's a bunch of different templates that you could pick from, once again, completely for free, that then allows you to upload video behind it or in front of it. You could upload your own images. It actually also has the ability to pull down its own images and icons and the like that you can pull into your video, all 100% for free. Whether you decide to use Adobe Spark or Fiverr, either one of those two, there is a specific formula that you should use to create your actual book trailer, and it is as follows. Number one, you start with a hook. What is a hook? Well, that gives the person watching the video, this is a video after all, a reason to keep watching and further a reason why they may be interested in your book. So if you are a nonfiction author, probably the hook is some benefit that the reader gets by and through reading your book. So that would be a great hook to start off with. And the bigger 
and juicier that hook or promise is at the very beginning of your book trailer, the better. Okay, so think big, fat, bold promise. That should be the very first thing that comes across your screen, okay? Then you might do one or two additional benefits, additional bullet points that relate to the, the subject matter of your book or relate to the, to the big promise. So you do maybe slide, maybe two on that particular topic, okay? Then number three, or I'm not, I guess, yeah, number three here, you would get some sort of social proof. Social proof. So in other words, give people the reason or a reason to, to believe what you're saying. What you could do is you could pull down Amazon reviews and put those on a page across the, or you could screen capture them and put them on your video. Again, you could do that with Adobe Spark. Or you can go to, if you have friends on Facebook that have said nice things about your book, you really can't have too much social proof. Almost impossible. I mean, maybe 20 minutes of it gets, a gets to be a little much, but you really want to make sure that folks know that your book and the contents therein are for real, hard hitting, and worthy of their time, effort, and energy. All right, and that's what the social proof part of this video trailer does. It, it communicates that in a very, very big way. Okay, so we have our promise or hook. Now we have our social proof. So the last part of this formula is a simple call to action. Let them know where they can go get your book. And by the way, it's not just Amazon unless it is just Amazon, but chances are, if you follow me anyway, it's not just Amazon, it's available wherever books are sold, wink, wink, okay? Because here's the thing, even if the book is currently only available on Amazon, but you have it ticked on off on expanded distribution, well, people can then go to their library and request the book, and then the library can, can order the book, or they can go to their local Barnes and & Noble and, and request the book. So. Don't just say Amazon, say wherever books are sold, including Amazon, including IndieBound, including wherever, okay? Fiction writers, I have not forgotten about you because you can use the same sort of formula that is having a big, bold promise. It's a bit different, however, as you might imagine, because what you need to understand is that your promise, implicit as a fiction author, is entertainment. That's your big, bold promise. And people need entertainment. We're required mentally to be, you know, entertained and have some recreation in our lives. Otherwise we go, you know, mad. People get what the promise is and whether they want to pursue it further by and through something called a log line. Now, a log line in, in Hollywood is generally a one sentence kind of synopsis of the story that doesn't really tell the entire story, but kind of gives us the, the flavor of it and whether or not we're interested in looking at it and, and, and pursuing it, or in this case, reading it. So think about what, what is the log line of your book and the more you could distill that down, the easier it is going to be to describe it to other people and to market with it as well. So your log line then becomes your big promise that you put onto and in, in your book trailer. And then it goes to the next step, which of course is social proof, and then the step after that, the same kind of thing, call to action. That's how it goes for fiction writers. You've created this asset for yourself because that's really what a really good trailer for your book is. It's a great asset. It can go out and sell your book when you're not selling it. But where do you use the book trailers? Where do you upload them? Where do people put their eyeballs on them? You can go and post it on a couple different places on Amazon. For example, your Amazon Author Central page. You have one, right? And by the way, you should have one. If you have a book on Amazon, you're eligible for it. You could upload your video 
to your Amazon Author Central page. Now here's the other thing that most authors miss, particularly indie and, and self-published authors. You have the ability to upload what are called related videos on your Amazon listing itself. Now this is not, does not go into the review area, does not. It usually is sitting right below the product description and product details. So bestseller rank and, and ISBN number and all that. That's where you will find where you can click a, a button and upload a related video. And what I would do just to be safe is I would have a family member do this for you instead of you doing it directly. Uh, not that there's anything untoward, there's not, but just out of an abundance of caution, just have a family member doing it. You're not representing any kind of review or anything like that, just a book trailer, just to help to sell your book. And here's the most powerful thing that I want you to understand about this. Because your book trailer is actually now on your page, people can then consume it and make a decision much easier once again to make a decision to buy the book if the trailer is good right just like it's easier to buy the movie or buy the movie ticket if we like the trailer once again same is true with books now the other place that you could put your book trailer we've talked about amazon author central we talked about related videos on your book listing itself the other place that you certainly could put it and should put put it is of course, your own website, you have an author blog, right? Or you should. You can put it on your book page for like your, your fan page for your book on Facebook. You can upload it to uh, Instagram, IGTV. And you could also put it on YouTube. Basically, you could put it anywhere. You could put any other video and you should. Okay, and you should, including I have a channel on Roku. It's a very popular channel called Book Lovers TV. I'll put the link to it in the description. The most viewed part of that entire site, of everything that you can see there, is I have a line item in there for book trailers. That is the one thing that most people will get in and, and go view. Another place that you can put it, obviously, is on your own Roku TV or Amazon Fire TV as well. I have a whole training on how to do this yourself, and I'll put that somewhere over here. Oh, by the way, by the way, if you are a realfastvip.com member, you are also eligible to have it on my Book Lovers TV channel as well. So that's another place if you join that program as well. All right. So these are the, the nuances, the subtleties of using book trailers. I really do want you to create book trailers to help sell your books. They, once again, they could do a lot of selling for you and they can really be a force for persuading people to check out your book if they have never otherwise heard of you. So please do use this and of course, if you got value from today's video, I would really appreciate a like on the video as well as subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And of course, hit the little bell notification as well. And remember, be the blessing.